throughout the years. Let me shift gears just a little bit. Um, at this Black Business Matters Expo, there are hundreds of people watching. Uh, and one of the things we're encouraging the participants to do is to network one with the other. Um, you know, it's not a traditional passion business card. I think that's long gone anyway, but really to network virtually and to find out how we might support um, one another. What's that? What's the best piece of advice you got from a friend or a mentor uh, early in your career? And part B of that question is, what's one piece of advice you wish someone had given to you? Sure. Um, I, I would say, you know, I, I, you know, I think the most important piece of advice I got early on was to become an expert in my craft. Um, and I think, you know, I started off my career uh, as an engineer, and then I moved into investment banking. Now I'm in, in the world of uh, investing in, in enterprise software, business software. Um, and I've always taken very seriously to be the best at what I do. Uh, and I can knock wood in, in many instances, I have a chance to do that and express that in my day-to-day -day, uh, work. And I would always share that, you know, be studied and learned about what it is that is the business that you are in and how it is that you can create a unique, sustainable uh, advantage in the market that you participate in. Um, and, you know, always focus on maintaining that, call it, I could use the word kind of product superiority or execution excellence. Some cases, in some cases, you may have a commodity product, so you have to focus on execution excellence. And that might be product service uh, or that might be service, you know, delivery or, or, you know, customer service relationships or whatever it might be. But whatever business you're in, you need to figure that out. My business, it's one of, you know, superior product and execution excellence. So I focus on that every day and building what I think are a, a better model for doing that than, than anyone else in, in my current state. Um, early on, you know, again, I grew up as a, you know, son of school teachers and then as an engineer and didn't really understand, I uh, call it the importance of getting uh, the right sort of, um, call it kitchen cabinet of advisors uh, around you. And I'm not just talking about your friends, but, you know, really people who are skilled. So each of you people should have a skilled lawyer, a skilled accountant uh, that you have cultivated a long term relationship with even at a young age, that you can rely on who can help give you some perspective uh, about things you should do or not do um, as you think about moving forward in your task as an entrepreneur. Uh, and many of us, um, you know, we, we don't necessarily reach out for that. We kind of just kind of plow forward. But that's a piece of advice I wish I would receive earlier uh, is, is to build and cultivate that, call it kitchen cabinet of those sorts of skilled advisors who, uh, who have some reliance on uh, in, uh, in, in business. Absolutely. I agree with you with that 100 percent. And sometimes we don't know to do that. And sometimes we don't know who to go to. Right. And I, and I think that's that kind of gets to the, the point Tony, of saying, OK, what we need to do is just, you know, besides just passing business cards along, start to think about, OK, what are the you know two or three or four uh, uh, call it elements or skills uh, that you don't have? that would be helpful to your business. And if you're one of those people in those skilled roles, um, you know, a lawyer, accountant, et cetera, you should think about how do I contribute to my community of entrepreneurs? Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, you asked it at the top of the, the, the call, I uh, can't remember if we recorded then, but, you know, and, and asked about, you know, what can we as black businesses do to help? Uh, and it is actually, you know, share not just that information, but if you are, you know, black accountant um, and maybe working for one of the large firms or whatever, you should take some of your time on the weekends and find African-American entrepreneurs and offer sets of services or advice. Um, uh, same thing in a legal profession. Um, and, you know, same thing if you're an IT person and say, okay, how can I help this small, you know, African-American business in my neighborhood uh, either get their system up and running or keep it running or find the right people who can do that for them uh, in a way that gives them some reliability on how they're going to approach the market. And I think that's that's a big part of being a part of a community uh, that we need to, to focus on. I always think about, you know, what kind of your highest and best use. You know, I'm just on with a, a group of African-American men uh, this weekend who run 
you know, funds similar to mine, et cetera. And so we said, you know what, the right answer for us now is to think about, uh, not think about, but to create a group uh, that we'll administer, we'll, we'll capitalize in the right way. Uh, we'll figure out, we've got to figure out how you do it legally and all that, but, but, but sit on the boards of this to now use that to help that next generation of fund managers, because we're all now getting gray in the hair and all that sort of stuff. And our business is, you know, for the most part, if you think about it, the word private equity or et cetera, you know, these, this, there, there aren't African-American buyers of these businesses and it isn't the type of business you can necessarily pass along to the next generation unless kind of your next generation is kind of already moving in that direction. So they're easy, they either like to get sold um, and it's likely going to be sold to a non-African-American, right? So then here's a massive amount of, of don't get me wrong, the wealth will, will convey into our families in some respects, but that opportunity platform, that knowledge uh, might then get lost. And so part of it is, okay, how do we now create the next level below uh, to help fund these 20, 30, 40, you know, African-American growth equity, venture capital firms that are kind of forming now and start to convey that knowledge as the elder uh, in this space to them. And then they can think about how they deliver their, their products uh, or services into our community, into our, our small to medium businesses. So that's, that's one of the elements that we think about and are actively working on. And I anticipate we'll get that done because I know how we work in the next couple of months and be able to uh, start making, making a difference.